Okay, this is a continuation of our discussions on the uh, PV cell model. So, in the earlier part, the part one, we already completed establishing the uh, single diode based model for the PV cell. And uh, in this part, the part two, we're just going to um, um, give some more details on each of these uh, various components and also introduce the uh, parasitic resistances. Uh, you can refer to a standard uh, semiconductor physics book for the diode equation or the, the Shockley equation which gives the diode current as a function of this, uh, this voltage. So ID, the diode current, is given as um, um, this IO which is the torque or reverse saturation current at a given temperature. IO times exponential of um, uh, Q, the VD, the diode voltage, divided by AKT. Uh, minus 1. So here the uh, Q refers to the charge of an electron in coulombs and it has a value of 1.6 um, 10 to the minus 19. K is the Boltzmann constant in joules per, cal joules per Kelvin and it has a value of 1.38 10 to the minus 23. Uh, T of course is the temperature but in, in Kelvin and um, I mentioned IO is the reverse saturation current which is uh, um, an important characteristic of any, any diode and it has a very strong dependence on the uh, on the temperature so i will is a, um, is a current at a given temperature at which we want uh, this pv cell model and a is the um, is called as a diode ideality factor so um, as i mentioned there are several um, possible models for a pv cell and when we try to um, um, obtain the uh, the manufacturer specified the data she specified uh, VI characteristics uh, to this model, we can adjust this um, factor, uh, di diode ideality factor to uh, match our model as much as possible to the um, IV or uh, PV characteristics given by the uh, cell manufacturer. And uh, as indicated, the value of the uh, ideality factor is uh, normally between 1 and 2. Okay, uh, a few points about this uh, reverse saturation current uh, IO. Um, so IO, as I mentioned, is an important characteristic that defines um, uh, a diode. And um, uh, higher the uh, material quality of the diode, that relates to smaller uh, reverse saturation current IO. Um, and IO is a very strong function of the temperature. And uh, for silicon cells uh, near the room temperature, this uh, reverse saturation current I would doubles for every 10 degrees Celsius rise in the temperature. Um, so the plot here show the um, diode uh, current voltage characteristic. So you can see this uh, exponential rise in the um, diode current, uh, especially after about uh, 0.5 volts or so for uh, each uh, individual um, diode. Now the portion near um, around zero and a small negative voltage is zoomed in and shown in the lower plot to uh, see this um, IO uh, clearly. So the um, so the scale here is uh, 10 nano amperes um, per, per division. So therefore the reverse saturation current at voltages um, uh, slightly negative, uh, it, it, it almost remains constant for larger negative voltages. So that is equal to about 50 nano amperes. So that's a typical value for the kind of um, uh, PV cells that we are considering. Okay. Now this is at, um, at a given temperature, I think this is at um, um, close to 300 Kelvin temperature. Now if I increase the temperature, so then um, I, I show the um, diode voltage, um, uh, diode current voltage uh, plot uh, for both 300 Kelvin, the blue, and 350 Kelvin, the red line. And again I zoom in near the um, zero and s small negative voltages can clearly see the difference in the um, in the saturation current IO. Okay. For 300 Kelvin, as we saw in the earlier slide, it's about uh, 15 nano amperes, whereas it is much larger for the 350 Kelvin case. And um, um, sometimes um, um, these quantities, the Q over AKT, Q over KT or Q over AKT, uh, that is uh, uh, sometimes referred to as this thermal voltage, VTH. Uh, so therefore, the um, um, the quantity inside this parenthesis, that case would be written as E over uh, the diode voltage VT divided by this thermal voltage VTH um, and minus 1. Okay. 
um, and to give some feel for uh, uh, the numbers, the thermal voltage, it is um, 25.84 millivolts for a standard uh, temperature of uh, 300 Kelvin and this uh, ideality factor A equals 1. So uh, from this equation for uh, diode voltages uh, above this uh, thermal voltage VTH of 25 uh, millivolts, um, so this term dominates uh, 1. So even if it is, uh, for example, uh, 50, 60 millivolts, this term can be close to 10 times higher than um, uh, 1. Therefore, the 1 can be negligible under most of our uh, normal operating conditions for a PV cell. Okay, so this is the uh, complete expression for the ideal PV cell model. Um, so we have the photon current, I photon, minus the diode current, which is express, ex expressed by this uh, Shockley equation. It's I over times this exponential term minus 1. Okay. Now here the V is uh, should really be the voltage across the diode, therefore should be V sub D. But in this model so far, where we have not included the series resistance, the voltage at the output is same as the diode voltage, so, so it is okay for, um, for the model given in this slide. Uh, but um, always remember that the voltage that goes here in the diode equation should be the actual voltage across the diode. So in this expression, um, we looked at the second part, uh, especially this um, reverse saturation uh, current um, in detail in the previous slide. So let's also look at uh, something about this photon current in the in the next slide. The uh, IPH is the light generated or the photon current. So obviously it depends on the uh, solar irradiance level. Uh, it depends on the spectrum or the wavelength of the instant light and also depends on the uh, characteristics of the cell or the, the quality of the semiconductor material. Now, the, um, the photon current is uh, normally indicated um, or it's, it's a measure of the short circuit current which is specified in the data sheets of all um, uh, PV panels. Okay. But these are specified at uh, standard test conditions STC and that is um, um, an irradiance level of uh, 1000 watts per square meter and, uh, and at, at a module temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and um, a factor called as air mass at uh, AM of 1.5. In a later video, we'll look at uh, what this air mass means. Now, to give some um, rough uh, estimate, some some um, some feel for the numbers for um, typical commercial um, solar cells, the um, the short circuit current or the photon current is roughly about um, um, about 30 milliamperes per square centimeter of the uh, of the PV cell. And, um, and and that is at the at the STC. So at uh, STC. Okay. So now, uh, how do we get the um, um, the short circuit current or the photon current at uh, other conditions? Okay. So the um, uh, photon current magnitude is uh, is directly proportional to the irradiance level. Okay. So for example, if the irradiance goes down by a factor of twenty percent, then the photon current goes down almost uh, exactly twenty percent. Um, Okay, so so this value changes uh, quite significantly from um, time to time, from say um, um, from early morning to the peak uh, noon period, uh, and from place to place, um, and also it is significantly affected by the clouds and uh, other shading. Now the dependence of the uh, photon current on the temperature uh, it does not uh, is not very significant. So again, if you can look at the data sheet uh, for the PV panels, and you will see the um, the temperature coefficient of the short circuit current or the photon current, uh, it, it's positive, it increases but very slightly. Uh, it's roughly 0.05% for every degree Celsius rise uh, for a silicon material. So it's not significant. So uh, in our model, we can just write the I photon as a function of the irradiance and uh, just uh, keep it uh, constant for different temperatures. Okay, so, so far we have been uh, focusing on the ideal PV cell model. So now uh, let's go ahead and introduce some of the main non-idealities, non mainly the parasitic resistances. So in this slide we will introduce the series resistance denoted by uh, RS and uh, the series resistance models um, the um, 
uh, all the resistances in the uh, uh, in the contacts in the metal grid as well as the uh, equivalent resistance encountered um, by the current flow in the p type and the n type layers of the um, semiconductor material so um, as a as a schematic uh, or as a circuit diagram the uh, model including the series resistance is uh, shown here here is the uh, the series resistance rs and uh, as an as an expression um, the um, the current voltage current equation for the pv cell is uh, is given here so you can notice the photon current the diode current the only difference is in the diode current and um, the voltage uh, in this uh, the say the Shockley equation should be the voltage across the diode which is now the um, external voltage V plus the drop across the resistance so that is uh, I times RS so the VD is um, V plus I RS so that is the only change uh, from our previous uh, ideal PV cell model now in um, in later videos where we look at the um, IV characteristics and the the power voltage characteristics of the PV cell, we will um, study in detail what is the effect of the series resistance on these uh, IV characteristics. Okay, and the other uh, fairly significant non-ideality that we include in our model is the shunt resistance, uh, or SH. Uh, and this shunt resistance models uh, mainly the leakage current of the uh, PN junction. Now the R shunt uh, or the, sh the shunt resistance is, uh, is usually a large value uh, at least for a, a good uh, PV cell and uh, low values uh, of um, uh, RSH um, represents uh, defective cells uh, or um, uh, poor manufacturing uh, uh, methods um, and the impact of these low values of um, R shunt uh, its impact on the power loss is, um, is much more pronounced, is more severe at low irradiance levels. Now that is because uh, at under low irradiances, the photon current or the short circuit current is uh, is already low, and um, uh, so relatively uh, a larger portion is uh, is diverted to the shunt current, and uh, only the balance is available for the uh, as the load current. Okay, so the uh, complete PV cell model. For the purposes of uh, all our applications, analysis, and design is uh, shown here. So that's the the circuit representation. So it has this um, for irradiance dependent photon current, the uh, diode uh, diode current, uh, the series resistance, and now finally the shunt resistance. Now, as an expression, the um, output current, the load current I, would be the photon current minus the diode current minus another component introduced now which is the current through this uh, shunt resistance so therefore the uh, complete equation uh, for the uh, current um, of this PV cell uh, would again be the photon current minus the diode current which has the uh, the VD the diode voltage is V plus IRS that has not changed from the uh, uh, from the previous slide where we just introduced the series resistance the only new term is this minus IR shunt um, and the R shunt is here and the voltage at this point is same as the diode voltage VD and which is uh, V plus IRS so that voltage divided by the R shunt is the current through this R shunt and that is uh, subtracted out from uh, from these two okay. so that results in the complete external current and this is the model that we will be using throughout uh, in all our later analysis 